Man, I had my fucking injury in the phone and shit, man. Plug it up whenever you're ready, bro. What's that shit we we got be uh smoking on? Unicorn piss? Unicorn piss, man. Everybody think it. Yeah, shit. You about to catch that young contact, dirt? I'm gonna catch. Blowing this motherfucker. Unicorn, nigga. So you, I'm sending to your uh, your Facebook the link. They do everyone with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna share it on Facebook. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, because I don't know why I didn't connect to my Facebook, man. That shit crazy. Cut that shit off. Because it ain't about Wayne. It's Pacino season out in this motherfucker, man. Oh, recording. Yeah. Y'all ready, y'all good? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nigga, hell you yeah. straight? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Damn, shout out to the Warriors still making moves. God damn, I ain't even mean to see that. It's about the Golden State Warriors. I don't know if motherfuckers are Warrior fans or not. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, y'all fuck with Warrior Splash, fans bro. In there? No. <laughs> I ain't got cable to watch sports. <laughs> nigga, nigga, you could you could fucking stream that shit illegally somewhere. I do on Facebook, you know, like like uh, <laughs> what was that fight? Uh, Spence and uh, Spence and Ugas. Oh, fucking Floyd and the white boy from YouTube. Some other uh, damn uh, Paul, Jake, Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Logan. Paul. Yeah, I was on Logan. Facebook and and you know I was like, man, I typed the fight in and motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, but you gotta catch the right one because someone be playing and shit. Yeah, that motherfucker be them weak ass links, man. Yeah, land and shit. I was at a spot, a cigar spot, and they was playing fight. Mm. And that motherfucker kept hesitating. Oh. 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 Yep, well. Fuck that. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the motherfuckers that ain't here. Feel sorry for y'all. It's fucking um, unicorn piss in the air. <laughs> Terra Mana in the cup. Dirty Eagles stay getting motherfuckers <laughs> fucked up. I don't know what that is. Casadota in the fucking bottle is froze. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But uh, fuck where you at is where you're supposed to be. It's right here, Black Tea Podcast with me, Black Tea Bibs. And I got some dope motherfuckers. You know what? That shit is cliche. Cause I feel like this shit is really hip hop bound tonight. Ah, cause I know your list. Yeah. I heard your shit. Yeah. Big fan. Now, now you told him about me. Yeah. And then he brought himself to me. Yeah. And then I heard his shit, and I was like, "Yo, yeah, yeah all right." Yeah. And then Ocho the co-sign. You know, what I'm I fuck with Ocho. Big Ocho. So it's like, damn. Go, you know, it's like, you know what I'm saying? All you missing was Foxy. You know what I'm sorry. Shit was meant to be, bro. It was meant to be. I like that. Foxy's meant to be. I had to do it with Foxy. Hey, so I need, first of all, my co-host again. It's the brother. He, he don't need no introduction, but can you introduce yourself, please? You know what it is. Dirty Eagle, man. If you know Dirty Eagle, you know it's... Ca-ca! You know what it is. <laughs> hey, man, you could be anyone, anyone in the world, but you know what? You here with us, and it's for a reason. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, because it's legends in the fucking making right yeah. now. Yes, sir. So, uh, can you please introduce yourself, guy? Man, Gino Pacino. You know what I'm saying? 
want to know. <laughs> hey, man, I'm bro. I'm sorry. Bro. <laughs> See, I don't do the kaka. I do that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, you want to know why? Because. Cause it's not bottle service no more. Cause usually on bottle service, I be doing. Hey, can we put that shit up yeah. there? And so I got, I, I kind of retired this shit. Yeah. So I don't do that no more. Okay. So I was trying to figure out something new, and it's just crazy, bro. And I was just like, just like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. Hey, so go ahead, hey, real quick. Hey, everybody doing that shit too. So my mom, people write it. Marketing genius out this motherfucker shit. Hey, real quick, just give them a quick synopsis of who Gino is. Man, so uh <laughs> man. Quick synopsis of who I am, man. Quick, or, or it could be long. You can pause. You, uh, I mean, I'm the present and the future, bro. I put it to you like that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, in terms of like, in terms of artists, you know what I'm saying? It it hasn't been pretty much nobody that's been exposed to me and they haven't been like this nigga. I fucks with dude, bro. Cold. So for me, it's just like you know what I'm saying, opening it up. You know what I'm saying, get myself more out there. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like. I got like a good personality, but I sometimes I'll be kind of like laid back chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be looking at sometimes some dirty, dirty eagle shit. I'll be like, this nigga be in every club. Like, <laughs> you think I'll be at the crib watching the game sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But outside of that, man, I mean, like, um, I got the wisdom, you know what I'm saying? I got the bars, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to feed people, you know what I'm saying? Through my music and my message. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you, I, I feel like that play an important part though. Getting yourself out there, yeah. Let motherfuckers see you, right, on the regular, right, right. Like, oh, this going on. Oh, I saw Gino there. This going on. Oh, I saw Gino there. Real shit. Real you shit. don't feel like that's hurting you at all? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, to to an extent, because it's like, but it's like I can't be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I get out quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? But not like crazy, bro. So I, so I'm trying to measure that. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to just be like, be like at the right spots mm. that make any sense. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like. Um, to be honest with you, like in terms of musically though, I mean, I don't even think it's just that though, bro. I think like, um, especially, you know what I'm saying? Walking this path, bro, man, I, I used the bar one time where I say like, it's more rappers than it is fans. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I get like a large, <laughs> I get like a large group of people, bro, who come to me or like, inbox me or whatever. Like they'll reach out to me and be like, nigga, with you, boy, that shit cold as hell. Man, take my take my beat. Or the segue be like, man, that shit cold as hell, nigga. Let me get on the next song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like that's different than somebody just genuinely being like, yo, I fuck with it. I was I was vibing out to it. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying. I don't know if it's the social media thing or whatever, man. But it's like everybody, you know what I'm saying, feel like they're entertainer. You know what I'm saying? Like so, it's like it's. It's hard to even promote, you know what I'm saying, your product, you know what I'm saying, when it's like everybody trying to be in that shit. And that's that's not just a just me thing, bro. That's across the board, bro. But you can see them though, can't you? Huh? You can weed them out. You you can tell the ones Yo, that's doing it for like, oh, yeah. I could get a bag real quick. Yeah, you can, but it's like, bro, I'm, I mean, like, well, I don't know, man, you know what I'm saying? But if you look back, man, at music, I'll, I'll be, let's say go back into all of the 1950s type shit, you know what I'm mm. saying? When niggas... You know, they, they, your uncle and them, you know, had a band and all that goofy ass shit. Bro, it was not, I don't think it's ever been this amount of artists at one time, ever, nigga. <laughs> like, like, nigga, ever. Nigga, so look, listen, so not, not only do I do music, you know what I'm saying, but I'm a fan too, bro. So it's like, you know, we all have our different things we got going on, whether you got your kids, you know what I'm saying, your girl or whatever, so you got your that consume your time. But in your free time, you definitely, you know what I'm saying, bumping music. So I remember, like, I used to be like, let's say, like, fucking next Friday, all the new releases come out. Mm. You know what I'm saying, the new meat, the new, you know what I'm saying, Ross, you know what I'm saying, little baby shit or whatever, right? Nigga, it used to be, I could bump all that shit, bro. I listened to every album, nigga. Like now on the on the new music days, nigga, you be like, nigga, it's like eight hundred fucking new albums, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The new artists, the old niggas that still trying to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you you a fucking around be looking for the baby shit, 
And you would see Freeway just drop some new shit. You like, damn, this nigga Freeway still at it. Like, <laughs> so they, Freeway just performed up here, didn't Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm saying, that's no, no, I just said oh, yeah, that no name, but yeah. no disrespect to Freeway, because he a dope nigga, man. But it's just like, I just never really seen like this many fucking artists at one time, bro. Yeah. Like, ever, nigga. No, 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 <laughs> to go back to something, though, uh, actually, it makes you a little bit more marketable when you're not everywhere. Right. Mm. You know, if I can't see Gino Pacino every time I hit the club, then I actually have a value and want to see Gino Pacino when I get an opportunity to see him. Okay. Sometimes you oversaturate your own self. Like, if you're everywhere, I had to learn that. I want to pop, I want to support this, I want to support that. And then well, when you become the familiar face in the crowd, you kind of don't stand out no more. Cause like we used to you, bro. We used to you, so I, you know you. We know be, what to expect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but so, so the the sweet spot is that happy medium. I so I I I'll give you a good example, bro. So fucking um, if you look at a nigga like Drake, right? Like nigga Drake got like a billion songs out, but he's still on top. You know what I'm Sorry. saying? Okay, but. A nigga who really colder than that nigga, you know what I'm saying? But it, somehow in his same tier with less is Kendrick Lamar. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. Like, so I, he just made an announcement the other day that he dropping his new project uh-huh. in May or some shit. This nigga ain't dropped none since 2017. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? And niggas is still thirsty for this shit. Mm. So it, it's it, it's just got to be a way that you do it. And it's got to be kind of like, you know what I'm saying, kind of a reflection of you too. Cause it's that element. Like I feel like y'all could do that shit too. Yeah. Just because y'all, y'all in a space where y'all got both sides of it. Y'all got the y'all got the motherfuckers that just listen to music just to say, oh, I heard this song. Mm-hmm. And then y'all got motherfuckers that actually listen to bars and be like, yo, did you hear what he said? Yeah. So now when y'all put a a, a catalog together, uh, is that the right term? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When y'all put some shit together. For a year, right? You just go crazy for a whole fucking year. And then you just drop off the face of the earth for like two years. And then you come back. Niggas be like, nah, that nigga back. That nigga back. What the fuck, Gino? You just came back with this? Back. You know, know, it's funny you say that because that's what I I actually did. I went hard, 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 hard to build the name Dirty Eagle. And then I fell back because I'm working Mm. on a new project. So I just re-released music that I already had. A lot of people they got so used to hearing booming and freedom, they didn't realize I really released a double album, my first album ever. It's a double album. So I'm like, man, it's some people. They should be listening to that Sunday dinner. Sh- oh my god, man. man, it's so many classics. That's my favorite song from this nigga. You ever heard that shit? The the, the yeah, I heard. I heard. Oh, he don't. He don't. He, <laughs> he, he tried to put me on the spot one time. <laughs> I think we was doing bottle service, and he yeah. tried to put me on the spot, and he was talking about freedom. And he was like, you ain't even heard the song, did you? I was like, nigga, it was on your website, bro. Yeah. And he didn't even know I knew he had a website, G. Right, right, right. And it was like, damn, bro, you just really, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trying to put me out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. I can't spit the song word right. for word because I'm still no. listening to yeah. Jay-Z. Yeah, right. But that's a hard nigga to compete with, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm sorry I don't know y'all words word for like, word. Oh, is that nigga, yeah, though. But yeah, you got to yeah, compete yeah. with Jay-Z. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm, try- I'm, I'm trying to catch that nigga. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm trying to catch that nigga. Like a month. You know, yeah, like so seriously, you, you do want to take a step back, you know, and that's really good for actually analyzing your career. You know, even in any any business that you're doing, you got to kind of take an assessment of where you were at in order for you to figure out where you're really trying to go. So if you always running, 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 you don't even get a chance to look at the scoreboard. Damn, am I down? Do I need to run a little bit harder? That's real shit. Do I need to pace the game a little bit better? You know, what I mean, if you just just balling, balling, balling. Every professional athlete, they look at the scoreboard to see what's going on, how much time we got. Mm. You know what I mean? In the midst of the game. So you got to take a moment to sit back, look at the scoreboard, and see where you got to go with the game. Sheesh. Yeah, nigga, I don't toast, toast to that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> toast to that shit, nigga. Y'all, y'all don't that put that unicorn piss out? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I oh, nigga, I definitely, so much I definitely you want this shit. My bad. Shit. She my bad. Out here red bull wings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> I ain't even know, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can edit it out, you know. Yeah. Ah, that's I'm a genius with the shit. Cool. Hey, but you know what's crazy, though? What I really, really, truly respect about Gina Pacino, and I tell him this all the time, and I'll say it right now on here in front of everybody. He uh. really is one of the hardest working artists that I know. The man promotes, promotes, promotes. He's, and sometimes, you know, 
Some artists feel like they don't want to, but you know what? With the way the algorithms work, at four o'clock, I mean, ninety-nine percent of your Facebook might not see it, but they might you know you might get ten percent that see it at five or six. So just watching them, how he works, the man. I mean, whether it be IG, whether it be Facebook, he is always promoting himself. That's what I was telling you, bro. I definitely gonna promote yeah, this. Yeah, it could be, it could be, a, it could be a clip from an interview. Uh -huh. He gonna promote that. It could be, you know, his verse, a, a hard part of his verse that he just did, a few bars. He'll give you a fifteen second clip here. It could be if he has a feature on a song, he gonna give you fifteen <laughs> seconds there. One thing about Gino Pacino, man, if you got him on a song or whether or not you know you, he got you on a song or whatever. He gonna promote the hell out of that joint, man. And that's one thing you gotta keep. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna tell you right now, one of the things that annoy, annoy the hell out of me is when you're doing a, a, a feature of somebody or, or you got them on a song. And they don't promote they it. They don't promote like, bro, that's, man, that's, that's this is, this is. sounds familiar. It's not the, <laughs> it's not, I'm gonna tell you why later. They, they, yeah, they, they, they forget that this is the music business. It's not mm. just music. It's the music business. So, you did the music, but you forgot the most important part. The ninety percent of it is the business right, part. So right. why did I do a song with you? I paid for the beat. I got the exclusive right to the beat. I paid for the studio time. If you ever did a studio session with me, or even if I'm in your studio session, I treat it like royalty. If I decide to work with you, man, you you to me you top tier. Mm. So I done did all this. I done spent all this money, and you did absolutely nothing but come to the studio. You probably even showed up late as hell, unprofessional as hell, or writing your music in the studio. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I get you on the track, and then you don't promote it. You feel me? Like, it was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. I could have did that. I could have did the song by myself. You know what I'm saying? I could right. have right. added an extra verse, nigga. Shit. Exactly. Like, that's one, you that's one thing that, that I really do honor about the man next to me, man. He is truly one of the hardest working artists that I know. And I tell him that all the time, bro. He really is one Man, if a motherfucker listening going to play that Lost City, that motherfucker going to like... 13 different playlists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and motherfucker was, definitely banging. I'm like, you know what I'm horn is fucking with it. I mean, got some horns. You know something else you did that was different to me? Uh, when I went to your Spotify, you got your interviews on your Spotify. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, that's game, bro. But, I don't even know that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's new to me. Like, when I went to your Spotify, I'm expecting just all music. Yeah, yeah nah, really bro. Fucking genius, bro. That's a really good idea. Hey, you know, most motherfuckers don't outmarket me. You just outmarket me. <laughs> and it's like, bro. So, I mean, really, man, it's all about taking us to the next level and adding on, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and, and then, I mean, Nigga, I don't waste no words and no time, bro. So I feel like this this time I'm sitting down with you, bro. I want to, you know what I'm saying, manifest it. You know what I'm saying, get it out there for the world, nigga. Like, we ain't just... Because it's like... I'll give you a good example, bro. And once again, it's another no disrespect. So we was talking about drink champs, you know, when I came in here, right? Bro, I I, I watched a few episodes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I watched every episode. Bro. <laughs> now, I ain't talking about drink champs. I'm, I'm talking about younger. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, bro... Yo, shit is is it, better. It's the same shit. Oh, you about me? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, nigga, bro. <laughs> so what I'm saying is like, too. bro. But it's like it's not as out there because maybe you ain't got the same name as a Nori. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I sit down with my niggas, it's like, bro, I want you to actually succeed, bro. Yeah. So I'm gonna get that shit out there, bro. Because if you win, I win, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. And it's like, bro, that might sound simple, bro, but you'd be surprised. How many other niggas in this entertainment shit don't look at that shit the same way, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas that come to your shit, you know, busted nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, nigga, not even speaking that shit. It's like, bro, nigga, most of the time when you do, like, these shows, a nigga might be paying for time, you know what I'm saying, to record your fucking interview, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at least you could do was, you know what I'm saying? Promote it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just approach that shit like a real nigga, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what? That, that's actually real. I've done quite a few interviews and you got the basic ass interview that you do, same typical ass questions. You know, How'd you get your name? Yeah, that, that basic ass shit. <laughs> or, or you got <laughs> the next <laughs> level. They did a little research on you. And you know what I mean? So they, they give the, they interview you for the, the fans. They let the people get to know you a little bit more. Then you got this, this the next level, like that top level, where when you come in the door, you feel like you at the crib. You just kicking with one of your homies, having a good conversation. That's what you do. Here we are. You feel me? We kicking it. No, 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 that's what it feel like. Whenever I've ever interviewed with him, or we interview somebody else, you just feel like I'm at the crib kicking with one of the niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah, we even had one interview where it was like me and him was the only motherfuckers drinking. <laughs> Drunk. Everybody else was smoking. <laughs> was, like, was that I had? 
side. You saw the turn up side and you saw the laid back side. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> we don't even interview motherfuckers no more unless they drink. You too cool, nigga. <laughs> too cool. No, but to what you said. We had them conversations. I had one with you, and it's crazy. I had them today. I had one with you, and I had one with him. It was like, man, motherfuckers don't really understand. They look at you, and you say, like, yo, you name your price, and you say, yo, this is my price. Right. No matter who you are, I'm speaking on y'all end and on my end at the same time. Mm -hmm. like, yo, this is my price. Yeah. And the reason why is you you understand it. I know you understand it. Mm -hmm. Because you know the work that go into it, yeah. right? But when you tell a motherfucker that don't understand it, they looking like, what? What? Yeah, like, hey, bro, hey, how motherfucker, much? think you trying to get over on? And it's like, not that. what? And you know what it is? And you know, at, at the end of the day, when I name my price, my whole thing is like, look, whatever I say the price is, that's, that's going towards marketing for yeah. one, right? Absolutely. And then when you get here, I want to make sure you feel good when you get here, nigga. Right. Pause. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. I want to make sure I got whatever it is. When you go to the crib, you go to your homie crib, whatever. Like you said, yeah, the homie. That, that's what the fuck I want on my interviews, bro. Right, right, right. But you know what you did when you when you put a price on it, bro? You actually did one very powerful. You word. weeded niggas out. No, 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 it's one powerful word. That you did. and what you just yeah, said. Yeah. But what you did is you actually brought value to your brand. That's a very powerful thing to do. When you put a price on your shit, that lets a motherfucker know this. there's a value to what I have. If I do everything for free, how valuable am I? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's real I, shit. I, I don't have a brand shit. at that point. I'm just a freebie ass. Nigga. All that work goes to like, for what? Yes. <laughs> I did all this for what? And, and then a lot of people don't know behind the scenes, like when you're doing a radio show, it's exhausting. You know, I pre-plan. So if you ever know, like when we do interviews, I do as much research on you as possible. Mm -hmm. So I know what to deliver for your fan base. Because it's not about me. It's about you. Mm -hmm. right. So I do as much. And then the back end of it, bro, the editing and then the promotion. I know that should be crazy. It's, ex 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 editing, exhausting. it's just really tedious. It's bro. tedious and exhausting. <laughs> so like when you name a price, they just a lot. They just don't understand. You don't know what you don't know. But put the put the price on. Put your value on it, man. So to the people that don't understand, you you're never gonna understand. You're never gonna understand. So and you shouldn't have to understand. We talking to y'all the ones that that easy. buy that buy three fives every other day that <laughs> that that buy fifths every day, man. But you can't put money in to invest in yourself. But you know what? That's Shout out to y'all, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's, that's the fucked up part about it is. I, like the average rapper, bro. They will go and buy a 500 to a $1,000 outfit to go to the studio. They're going to pay for three to six hours. Of a lot of it's just wasted time, but they you know they they do their time in the studio. Mm -hmm. um, they have their niggas that buy bottles. This one song between the beat, getting a video shot. They got to buy a whole new outfit, maybe two to three outfits in the video. This whole one song probably cost them two thousand dollars to create. Just the image and the facade behind it and everything, and put not a dollar into marketing, not one dollar. Any interview with you is a marketing tool. If you're a Gina Pacino, you're going to break that hour-long interview. I don't have to 30, 50 fucking pieces of clips that I can use later on to help myself continue to be relevant in this game. But see, they don't have the foresight to see that this is a market. This is an investment that I'm right. doing in myself because you always, the visuals, you always want to keep them visuals going. But see, they don't get that. And that's why it's very, that's why... It's a weeding out process, even with rap. Yes, we had an all time high with motherfuckers making music. But how many do you really know? How many people in the last year made an imprint and said, I want to listen to their motherfucking music? Shit. Not many. Not many, unless it's a nigga that you've been listening to and you've been a fan for the last 10 or 15 years. There's not many new artists that come out the gate, especially for my city, that, that you be like, damn, I really like this nigga shit. They don't stand. They don't stand themselves. They don't separate themselves from the clock. You know what preach, preach, huh? They don't separate themselves. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it is, bro. But your price, that's your value. And mm -hmm. you absolutely did weed a lot of motherfuckers out because they don't need to be on your platform, no way. Yeah. Because after, after you is low beats, and then that, you know what I'm saying. That's it. And after that, that's it. Because like, I don't want to sit down with just anybody no more. Don't. Right, interview don't. yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't. Interview you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, sit down with some with some niggas on some real G shit. Like we we all real G's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or expand your territory. So you know you you want to interview artists. Artists may not be where you need to be. You no, know, you might need to expand your territory to where you're doing entrepreneurs, uh, and and just stretch it a little bit more. So you giving away? Oh my bad. What? 
I'm, I'm nah, that's that's clap back for what I did when we had GS. You're fucking right, it is. I was putting all the yeah, shit, all the extra shit that you ain't supposed to. So look, I know I know about this nigga, yeah. mm-hmm. Ocho. I forgot bro name. Tells we say something, nigga. <laughs> hey, you look fried like a motherfucker too. That's that unicorn piece. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga look, that nigga look fried like a motherfucker. I just want to talk about features with how Chicago, you, Chicago niggas. But it ain't even about Chicago niggas. I just we we can talk about that. But I just really want to know how you go about your features. So the shit gotta be like organic, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. So I so I got, I got a crew called the Circle, which is like me and like a bunch of like my main niggas. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, circle. Nah, I'm in the outer circle. <laughs> ah, this 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 nigga this nigga unofficial I'm a part of the circle. circle. Yeah, like hey, I'm a hey, hey, circle. Hey, this nigga dirty 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 been around my whole little mob. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But but it's like you know what I'm saying? Like uh, once again, bro, like you know, just choosing carefully, bro. I'm not trying to rap with just anybody. I'm not trying to just hang out with no anybody. I hang out with official niggas. Like, I'm an official nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, well, how I do with the features, bro, it's like a lot of the niggas I'll be people I'm familiar with. You know what I'm saying, too? But it's like, I might hear some shit and I'll be like, man, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, and I'm, I'm really trying to put the city on to the best of my ability, bro. So it's like when I hear certain shit, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy on here. And I'm like, uh. I know just the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, who would be dope as fuck for this song, bro. And I just hit niggas, and like, I ain't never hit nobody, and they been like, nah, nigga, I don't want to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker be like, nigga, I would want to do a song with you, nigga, say less. And we just jump down, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, even when I'm doing the shit, bro, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of confidence in myself, bro, so I know my bar's going to be up, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, with the niggas that I be featuring with, bro, I don't try and navigate what you do with your verse, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to do you and be in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes, you know what I'm saying, during the course of that, if we make some changes, bro, bro, I don't give a fuck about being the best nigga on the song. I give a fuck about making the best song, bro. You know what I'm saying? I care about making the best song, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, if I if, if you do some shit and I'm like, oh, nah, nigga, this would be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Then that's how we gonna do it. I'll give you a good example. So when I did three the hard way with me and you know what I'm saying, Go Show. You know what I'm saying? So how 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 I set the song up was like us just going verse. And you know how you know how the beat change and shit. So I was like, boom, I, I kick a verse, you kick a verse, I kick a verse, you kick a verse. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So when a nigga was starting his second verse, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know how his writing process is. The nigga had more than 16. You know what I'm saying? You I'm like, that in the- he hit you with a J. <laughs> yeah, like, this nigga had more than 16. And he was like, man, bro, I ain't got to use it. I was like, no, nah, nigga, just say the whole thing, nigga. And I heard it. And I'm like, go. let's go, bro. So this nigga ended up getting like a 20-something bar. <laughs> verse on my song but the shit fit perfectly bro mm. you know what i'm saying and it's organic bro it, it gotta be organic you know what i'm saying but like i wouldn't let any any nigga do that you know what i'm saying because sometimes that's the jay-z shit <laughs> no nah, not even the jay-z shit and it's no and i, I keep because i don't want to disrespect niggas no i mean that that 20 but, bar shit but look though so i feel like i'm a i'm an eminem fan bro i like M, 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 eminem cold bro you know what I'm saying? I feel like on on these features he do sometimes, bro. He be trying to wash a nigga. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, hey, hey, hey. What's Thanks. hey? What's dude name? Uh, from uh, Grizel, the, uh, the dude with the funny jaw. Uh, is that is that Conway? Conway. Okay, so he got a he got they, they got a joint. They got a joint, right? This nigga Conway, bro. He Conway going off, nigga. I'm like, oh, this shit sound hard, nigga. The nigga M verse like forty bars, you know what I'm saying? And it, it and not that it's terrible, but it, as a listener, I'm like, nigga, did this shit work out like this, or was you just right. like, <laughs> like, like I, I gotta outbot this nigga? I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that shit, bro. But you know what? They say a lot about Conway though. That he just let it. Th- but it's Eminem, bro. So you gonna let the nigga do this shit? Oh, oh, no, he ain't even man. about. No, oh. he ain't even about. But that'll say a lot about. Who you are. So think about it like this. When Kendrick did uh Don't Kill My Vibe, right? Yeah. The remix with Jay-Z on. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. Kendrick went first. Uh-huh. It was supposed to just be two bar, two verses. It was going to be Kendrick. It was supposed to be Jay. That was it. Yeah. Right. Kendrick heard Jay verse and was like, no, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> And came back and right. dropped another verse. I, I, I respect it. I nuts, respect it. Right? I respect it though. Now to that part, <laughs> on that part, on on that end, because Jay Z said, I got to, I'm a Jay Z stand, right? Okay. The reason why Jay Z get more than sixteen is because not because they walk on the side, but what's your favorite whole album? Album. Album. Nope, black album. So. The black album is the greatest. It's, it's underrated. It's underappreciated. Yo, I'm going to tell you mine. Mine is an underappreciated joint. Did you say Reasonable Doubt? Nah, hell no. Nah. I love Reasonable Doubt. That American Gangster album, bro. Uh, very underappreciated. Nigga, I, that nigga went bananas on that mother. Can we come back to this? Because yeah, I got yeah. I gotta wonder, <laughs> I gotta wonder why. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Huh, huh. Nah, that's you, hard. You, you better than me. Just, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. If I ever record with any nigga and they shit cold, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna give you the the, the sample. I'll give you a sample of the sauce, right? I'm gonna go back to the studio. I'm gonna analyze your shit and I'm finna fuck your shit. Uh, <laughs> not fuck your verse. I want your shit to be hard, but I'm finna cut your head off in this verse. Ain't no nigga ever gonna outdo me on my shit. But this, but this why, this why, I, this good. why I say. I'm oh, fuck who they are. Jay Z, bring Jay Z in. No, but I'll this cut why I that say. Nigga head off too. But that's why it was nah, two boss, examples. I'm just saying. That's why it was two examples. So the first one was the Kendrick one. You can take right. the Kendrick route and be like, nigga, you not finna outdo me. And he didn't, because when Kendrick did that, that second verse, oh, he fucking killed Jay. But you know, as a listener, as a, that, that second verse came out of nowhere. I'm like, like nigga, yeah. where that's come from? He's I like, told him, I'm 16 and I'm 16 and I'm 16 and I'm Like, that shit was crazy, bro. Okay. But you, you right, know why he did it, though. Because, like, nigga, you not finna, no, you not but finna. Then, but then, nah, it might not even just been that. Jay-Z is his idol. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And he felt he wanted to get one more thing. I want to I want to prolong this moment as long as possible. True. I think when but- Kendrick comes, because Kendrick's so cold, he's not looking at Jay-Z like competition. He's looking at it as a collaboration. Right, so, but if you, if you think about it, I don't want to cut you off, but I got but you. you. No, nah, I ain't saying it. I, I, you know how motherfuckers say it. <laughs> I mean, but, but you mean it. No, you know, but you know, I, I, I correct myself, though. You know how motherfuckers say it. I don't want to cut you off, but... Oh, shit. No, I, I'm going to say I don't want to cut you off, but I have to. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, he looked at him like an idol. Granted. Yeah. But look at all the features Jay-Z do. He's always last, bro. Yeah, that's, yeah he be that's strategic. That shit too. It's strategic, and 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 if you because you know if you want a song, if you want a song done like that, that shit with him and Pusha T. Hey, watch this. You know why? Do you know why people? Do you know why he went last? Because you know why you go last. If you put no, no, Jay Z, why, why would Jay Z go last? If you put if Jay-Z I do a feature with Jay Z. And and Jace and I, I'm 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 formatting a song and I put him last. Why do I want they gonna to listen that? to the entire song He's just to hear right. his verse? So I might cut my song in half. Like who is this no name ass dirty eagle ass nigga? No, I'm gonna go first, bitch. You better skip me. But you gonna skip think about to get it. to this shit, or you gonna listen to me? How many people has he went last with on that monster track? Was that monster? No, click. Wait, which one was it? It's not many. That it was did. click. It was click because Big Sean went first, uh, Jay Z went second, Kanye went last, and, and we can all agree that, that, that was Kanye went fucking retarded yeah. on that bitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. He did. But you don't get that too often. You know, you know who recently did, I did a song with. I let them close my shit out. Easy O her. Easy O. You know. Who Actually, you know what? Fuck no. Easy didn't close it out. GS closed it out. But GS went crazy on the joint. I gotta hear GS rap. No, no, no. He he. Oh, he sung, he sung it. it. I actually got a song that with don't him. Count. He was rapping on some. Now, like I told you before, GS really can fucking rap. A lot of niggas, like a lot of niggas that sing, they don't know how to convert over there. But that nigga really, that nigga was doing that shit before Drake came out. Mm. Like, believe it or not, he was rapping and singing before Drake was rapping and singing. Before that shit was really cool with motherfuckers that do it, or Tory Lanez was doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, Ja Rule was doing that shit first. Nah, Ja Rule. Ja Rule was doing that shit first, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Ja Rule, nigga. 
Hey, I'm I'm glad you just brought up. Ja Rule was doing nigga. that shit, nigga. Ja I'm glad you just brought up an old. Ja Rule. So I heard your list, right? What list? What I miss? His list. You had a list? What list you had? He had a list. It was like a. It was, it was low key a light skin list. <laughs> uh, oh, when I was when like, I was uh, yeah, when I was saying like top MC. But I ain't mad at it though. But yeah. the fucking list was meth. Uh, yeah. Meth is bleak. Nah, oh, nigga, meth is bad, nigga. Man, you said <laughs> meth ass like, fucked yeah. up well, already, nigga. <laughs> what? Check the cow. <laughs> no, bleak. nigga, method man. Nigga. <laughs> method method bleak. Man. <laughs> man. <laughs> method bleak. Cacao. Cacao. Nah, nigga, this is me. I'm like, that's some real light skin shit. This, this was some, this, this was some recent shit though. Oh bro. shit. This was some recent this, this, like, shit. Like, this nigga. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Gino, you just lost a little bit of respect. Just no, no. nigga. It was method man. Okay. J. Okay. Nas. L. L. I, I think you started with J. Cole, right? Yeah, I think I had I mean, Cole. Not a bad list, though. That, that, that fucking list is was, retarded, bro. Nah, it, it was Cole, Kendrick, I think Hove, and did I say Nas in that bitch? You said Nas. Yeah, okay, yeah. Did I, uh, and then at the end, I'm like, man, that's a light skinned ass list, you know what I'm saying? But What be your list? Who, who me? Hmm. Start my interview. Jay Z. Okay. <laughs> that's a given. That's a given. Right. Kanye, Kanye, and sleeper. <clears throat> you got Kanye in your top five? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Anybody want to shoot? Anybody want to take it? I mean, no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? You can't deny it because Damn. he has hits. I mean, uh, I I hate that I put this person in there, but I have to. Lil Wayne. That's, that's not. That's not. That's not. Ah, uh, Wayne. Wayne. I have to. Uh. Myself. Okay. Little do y'all you know. Putting yourself in the this list. nigga barring it up. No, yeah. <laughs> now look. Mm -hmm. Now look. One day, one day, I'm gonna be confident enough to what let you hear something. What I tell you? One day, mm -hmm. one day. Not today. Today, oh, day. yeah. To, today's today. Maybe today. Let me see how far this tear money go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is the seal of approval from Big Bro. Yeah. <laughs> But we gotta talk about that list though. We gotta yeah. talk go back to his list though. All right, so your list. Cause you said, well, I mean, you you low key said it, but it's I the kinda, fact I that you got that shit. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it, it was Kendrick, you know what I'm saying. It was Kendrick, Cole, oh, really? oh, Nas, Ho, and I think I had through. Yeah, I I, I think I had through Meth and that's like like towards the end or some shit. But uh, I was just showing the nigga love, cause. Bro, that was one of my favorite rappers, Who nigga, like, ever, man. nigga, like, I used to, yeah. nigga, Method Man was that nigga yeah, to me, still bro. still your ass up, boy. So, yeah. can, we, can we, can I ask this question? Go ahead. Who was the coldest in Wu-Tang? Method Man. Hold on. Man, Method was great. All right, look, All right. I hear what you're saying. All right, so look. Yeah, this so look. You could get Raekwon, you could do Ghostface. Nah, man. so look, I'm asking that to the Now look, you And I understood either, everything Method Man was saying. You were either gain or lose some fans. Nah, 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 nah listen, so I'm going to answer that two different ways, bro. So, oh, so, so I thought you was a straight shooter. Hey, so if we looking at, so, so if we looking at today, if we looking at today, like on some body of work shit, Ghostface is the best member of that motherfucking crew. You know what I'm saying? If we looking at today. Mm -hmm. But when them niggas first came out, yeah. nigga met the man. O D B. Damn, bro. That's my favorite movement. Really? Ooh. You bullshit. O D B. D -B. I, I, you as a marketing person. I understand. Well, he was the most marketable. Come on. He was more he, 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 he was more marketable than that. He went on wait, wait, wait. He OTB went on he went on MTV Cribs with food stamps, nigga. It don't get no more marketable than that. <laughs> the nigga <laughs> said he's a millionaire and still got fucking link, bro. <laughs> it don't get no more marketing. <laughs> Come on. Like, like, like that's marketing right now. Nah, bro. Like nigga, I'm a millionaire, but shit. We ain't know what link. the fuck fucking raw was until bro like, said oh, it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> But no, nah, nah. but as far uh, as the, the are we we talking about lyrically, are, are we talking about marketing? I, yeah. I say I say tie all this shit together. If I tie everything together, so if you tie all method, together, I, I still think method, method Man was not marketable. Method, yeah, without Method Man, there would be no real woo. Like you would never know what woo was unless Method Man was. Why is that? 
because how is, fucking is that because cold of the deal? Was, bro. No, he nah, was not because of the deal. That nigga was oh, cold, yeah, bro. Of the deal. No, bro. he was cold, bro. He was cold. What if, well, I'll say, so let's say right, OBB bro, bro, went bro. to. Go ahead. All right, so I feel like this is in the argument right here, bro. So this is how cold that nigga was when they first came out, bro. So he's the only nigga that's on pop shit and Biggie shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, at that time when they came out, niggas would so so okay, so so in twenty twenty two, you'll be like, nigga, come on, stop playing, nigga. This nigga met the man. But nigga, when they first came out, nigga, you was like, nigga, met the man is like the coldest. I, 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 I give you even more than that. How many times did you hear motherfuckers saying, I really want a ghost face feature? Or I really want a RZA feature. These are, yeah, these are specific. That shit wasn't happening. There's only a specific artist that can even be on a song with them. <laughs> they, they rap. Who, I'm, nigga, I'm not finna be on a song with RZA. That shit not finna happen. I don't even want it to happen. Nigga, you not finna <laughs> bomb yeah. atomically meet. Nigga, nah, that, that's expected death. Well, whoever, yeah, nigga, that's yeah, all confusing. Yeah. Oh, it's RZA yeah. too, though. Like, RZA, uh, yeah, RZA yeah, don't yeah. make sense to RZA yeah. sometimes. But, yeah, yeah. but see, Method Man, Method Man go everywhere. You're all... I mean, yeah, that nigga, that nigga was cold, man. Come on, bro. Met the man to this day can carry yourself. Them other niggas, they retire. Like, they don't do that no more. Met the man was the key. That's the glue of Wu Tang. I don't fuck with nobody talking about. Go ahead, play hey, some. Real wow. shit, real no, shit. No, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> real we shit. Finna, this this the quick break, real quick. Because okay. I, got I, got I got a good question for you. For sure, for sure. To add that top five. <laughs> And this dirty yeah. eagle. I mean, I, 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 I'm number one of your features, bro. That's the next shit. Ooh, me? This oh, no, that, that shit wasn't crazy. Who else did a feature like I'm so crazy. I can do two No, that shit wasn't crazy, though, nigga. You ain't gonna chime in until you just chill this little back, nigga. Oh, no, nah, you, you can chime in whenever, bro. That's why I wanted you to come, bro. Listen to some. Hey, let's figure that new shit. The one we did? Yeah! Huh? That's one of the best videos, bro. Bro, no, that shit so motherfucking gangster tizzle. Yeah, that shit Yeah, nigga. <laughs> nigga, the location. <laughs> yeah, bro. All we was missing was Mick, nigga. We was back over there <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> That's a smooth as fuck. Huh? Mick? <laughs> I'm not gonna put my square in the middle. It's supposed to tell the This makes sure you come back. Uh, like, uh, no. The problem is the deal. Gino, my boy. Hey, this shit's smooth. Hey, you know, it's family after this, bro. Huh? It's family after this, bro. Nigga. Just like this motherfucker, you know all it take. Damn, we still laugh. <laughs>
Shit, wild as fuck, man. Look, it may not be <laughs> easy. Oh, we we back. We back. Oh, that, we back. That was a quick shout out to the sponsors. Yeah. Uh, a lot of sponsors too. Lao City is sponsoring this motherfucker. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna do it. A- <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my shit is just me, nigga. I don't do no. Oh, you, you said it oh. earlier. Oh, 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 oh. That really Come does. on. Oh. That sounds similar to. Nigga, you nah, nigga, the motherfucker ooh, ooh come from back in the day. <laughs> when you listen, when you listen close, yeah, that was that ooh, ooh, come, come. <laughs> the, oh, the symphony, yeah, yeah, the symphony, nigga. <laughs> but I, that's I, okay. I, I bit off uh, Nori. I, I, so I asked you a question earlier, um, and I asked you what was my favorite song, and you said, I oh, think you already know, Long City. To be honest with you, crazy as it may sound, that is not my favorite Gina Pacino song. Even Moment of I'm, Praise? Uh, it, it's a tie. Damn. It's a tie between Moment of Praise okay. and Tears of Joy. Oh, yeah, Tears, tears of Joy. I'm going to tell you right now, I it, I, I'm not a of fan shit. of gospel music at all. I just, when I go into, if I if I ever go into it, yeah. I like to go when I know, <laughs> all right, shut the fuck up. I think I got one song that I like that's a gospel song is We Fall Down But We Get Up. That's the only shit that hit me like, ooh, that that hit me. That's what the fuck it is, huh? But but, that motherfucker Fred was that Fred Hammond that did that shit? Nah, ain't Fred. Nah, that ain't Fred. Marvin Sapp. Marvin Sapp. Marvin Sapp. That's a light skinned nigga. Hey, look. Nah, he a dark skinned nigga. He a dark skinned nigga. Marvin Sapp. Big dark skinned nigga. Yeah, he a big Barry White looking motherfucker, I think. Marvin Sapp, yeah, nah, he is. Anyway, come on. They all. Yeah, yeah. So Marvin Sapp, even though it's fucked up. Ain't nobody hear what I said. I missed it. It's cool, keep going. Right, it's fucked up when I'm gonna replay this one. I'm gonna listen to the play. Like, right, it's fucked up. It's, it's fucked up when when the gospel music going and you be like, that motherfucker got me. And you're talking about the gospel. You call the gospel out as a motherfucker, but in a good way. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Time trivia. Yeah. But that moment of praise, man, that shit really do something to you. And then the that's fact it. that you did the video in a church. Oh, yeah. oh that's right. heavy. You that's feel me? Right. And then the tears <laughs> of joy is just it's a mental health song. Like, you be going through some shit. You put this song on, and even a video makes you happy. He did yeah. the whole uh, Charlie Brown video kind of deal with yeah, it. That's the, yeah, that's, that shit that, that's makes you happy. Like, like, if you're going through some shit and you put Tears of Joy on, that shit really can help you get out of that. And not a lot of people can be creative enough from the song to the visualization to put something like that together. Jeez. So, yeah, the, the, the prop me, um, what's the... the uh, contrary to popular belief, our song is not my favorite Gina Patino song. Now it's third, nigga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but because oh, that motherfucker up there, high yeah, two, it's it, it definitely joy, up yeah, high yeah, second. Yeah. Yeah. No, tears of joy and moment of praise are just those are the songs that can stand the test of time. Like you can listen to that today, and you can listen to those songs ten years from now. That's classic music. Gratitude, you bro. did that. Gratitude. So I want to tell you on air with my real fan. Man, Salute, Salute. You gotta take a oh, shot to that shit. Where your motherfuckers? I was gonna say, where your motherfuckers? Yeah, hey, this nigga Tizzle, man. Hey, chime in, say something, nigga. I, this nigga here like my security guard and shit. <laughs> when you came in, yeah. On the first interview. Yeah. Anyway, stop. Hey, can I say we we breaking Big ground? Big Go Show. We breaking we breaking ground. Shout out today. to my nigga Go Show, even though he ain't here, man. Big Go. Hey, I, I gotta holler. Hey, look, I'm I'm glad we all cool with Ocho. Yeah. Uh, go, go, show. Right, so oh, it's one thing because uh, that goat thing is just it really bothers. I know. I know. Oh, that he called himself goat show. Yeah, yeah because this goatee bitch. Hey, but nah, nah, me, me, I'm me fucking with it though. Beefing. Huh? Oh, wait, we, what? It's a fake beef. Oh, yeah, we're, even with Gojo, we ain't, ain't a real beef. It's a fifty beef. It's a yeah. It's a it's it's it's. Nigga, we cool. Just give me my money. It's a money. You owe you money, bro. Nah, I don't owe me money. Kinda <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you want to say that, yeah. Lemonade. He do owe me some money because let me tell you something. They're rappers, and I'm looking to the camera on this one. Make sure you catch me. Edit this. Bring me closer to the motherfucking <laughs> camera when you see this. Dear fucking rappers, oh. if you ever want a dirty eagle feature. And you had me come out of my way to record this motherfucking song and do all this extra shit, and you don't put that song out. My feature price is ten thousand dollars from here on out. Jeez. <laughs> so right now, say like ten D's. I travel. I travel an hour. I travel, an hour, I travel <laughs> an hour to be at a, a Ocho Mexico recording session. 
Everything <laughs> cool, right? I did two. I actually traveled twice. I did two songs with him. Neither one of these songs is in the daylight. So Ocho Mesco, because you've done that, your feature price for me is now twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> I gotta bring Goto to be when I come. Twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dirty converse. Unless you drop the shit, it's either or, nigga. You oh, keep them. You keep them, but it's twenty thousand for you. So it's what like, you gonna do? We gonna put it in a poll. When I post this up, we gonna okay, put what should right. Ocho do? What should Ocho do? Or pay the twenty thousand for the next season. <laughs> Nigga, I hope you pay the twenty. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, this shit yeah. different. It's like don't have me traveling all the way over. I ain't charge you with nothing. You feel me? You got me traveling and shit, and then the song don't come out, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Hey, hey, on Sabrina, you know what a nigga made me do recently? All right, so. We still talking about Ocho? Nah, Ocho, Ocho, 20,000. He done. No. All right, so this one motherfucker. <laughs> let me tell y'all, on Sabrina, shit. So That's my nigga, man. This one motherfucker, he, he, look, bro. First of all, I don't like his name. I mentioned this in another interview, Who? right? You want me to get gully like that, nigga? You want me to just tell the nigga name right here on the yeah. The nigga named Jay Slade. He's a white guy. His name is Jay Slade. Yeah, because I was going to put you in the hot seat too, bro. Who the fuck is Jay Slade? Like, nobody. That's why. Can you please edit that out? Because I don't even want to get this nigga no publicity. Oh, All right, so we'll this, this no-name-ass motherfucker, right? He says, I just got back from in town. We just traveled from Virginia. I'm tired of the motherfucker the whole night. So he calls me. I, I was like, man, I'll talk to you tomorrow because he want me to do a feature, right? So I do, I, I'm like, okay, this is what it is. This is my price. I show him some love because we, we have a mutual friend. So I'm like, ah, okay. you know, it's this, but uh, that's not my normal price, my bro. Okay. So he's like, all right. So he set the, school, the studio schedule up with the time we're supposed to be there. I lie. I say, I'm on my way. I'm halfway there. It's like a fucking hour and 45 minutes. You feel me? I'm like, I'm halfway there. What's happening? You ain't give me no confirmation. Oh, your studio session ain't today. Bitch ass motherfucker. At the last minute? Yeah, so no, ain't no last minute. You in your mind, you think I'm halfway there. You didn't show me the consideration of right. even like telling me beforehand we not doing this. And then you had me traveling. And then you just like, oh well, I'm gonna have to put this off. So to that artist that we I better not see their name in here. Well, I got a lot of shit I exposed about you, black T bibs. All right, so no, I'm just playing. <laughs> No, nah, but this oh, is, and, and he be on that shit. Nah, on that. So nigga, we we did a motherfucking oh, yeah, show let finish, together. Let me finish, let me finish this. Oh. So, <laughs> I want to hear this. So so what I did to that artist because he sent me the beat, but he sent me the beat as a free link. I bought I bought the exclusive rights to the beat. Okay. So I own the beat now, and I'm in the process of trademarking his name so he can never use his name. <laughs> Damn. Hey, you know I did that too, right? Yeah, you gotta do a nigga like that. Don't yeah. dude, this dude was on bottle service. He was he was a, a host on bottle service. Uh -huh. And he kept I can't make it, I can't make it, I can't make it. All right, bro, this three times it's like Right, this it's nigga, so nigga, this no call, no show, nigga. You fire. <laughs> so, you so this, it's like a nine to five. Did, remember yeah. how I looked it up. I see he ain't he ain't copyright his name. Mm. I own his name now. Damn, y'all so sonning niggas out of this bitch. Nah, I think you loop if you, you <laughs> And you know what's crazy? That was before I met you, but that was a dirty eagle move. That's a real yeah, dirty eagle. Y'all son. Now I'm the coolest man. like you won't hear if anybody ever been around Dirty Eagle, I'm the coolest man in the world. I don't mm -hmm. do nothing wrong to nobody. I just want everybody to be happy. Right, but if you try to go until it go left, if you go left on and until, around, until, bottle service, and until, until it go left, bottle service, even though he don't want it no more, it's just a hell of a name. So I'm in the process. I actually, just filed the paperwork. To be honest with you, I'm finna, I'm finna own bottle service. So this like literally no one <laughs> right. owns bottle service a name. That is a dope motherfucking name. <laughs> now I'm sue a motherfucker when they say bottle service at the club. Like nigga, that's my company name. Don't fucking use my shit. They gotta change it to yeah, bottle elite. Hey, but deliver. So, Oh, this, hey, I'll go ahead and tell that story, but I gotta this, put you in a hot seat. Though. This this is a hot I ride with this nigga though, man. So I ended up leaving this show because of this nigga. Luckily, I had already performed this shit though. So you know I'm cool with so so, so I'm cool with Felice, all of them. You know I fuck with all, I fuck Lee with them the hard name. way. Lee you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> motherfucking. Uh, she hooked us up with this shit. We know motherfucking hey, right now, bro. So you know how I'd be like nine niggas in the lineup, like fifteen yeah. niggas on the like on the bill or whatever and shit, Joe. So it was it was it was me, him, my nigga Chaz up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Some of my brother shout, I was out, shout out to my squad, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was hosting. And so we was doing this motherfucking show. 
So I guess, you know what I'm saying, bro was pushing them further toward the, towards the back. No, 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 no. Let me tell you what was happening. They were so fucking unorganized in the show that they had everybody waiting because last minute the DJ didn't show up. So they hired a new old motherfucker that doesn't understand what he's doing. He old as hell. So I'm like, wait, bro, you got to get this party going. Put them on. Put him on. He can't ready to leave. Put him on right now. Boom, boom, I'm getting everything. I'm like, man, because he asked me to host, right? But not host, but bring my radio show there to bring some publicity to him. And then he, want, he was like, you could perform as well. I'm like, well, I, I won't charge you. I'm going to show you some love. And then every time I turn around, he was like, wait, nigga, get one more person, one more person. I said, bro, you got one more person. <laughs> There, there, you got one more person. Bro, this nigga said... This nigga tore his banner down. I took my, tore my banner off that motherfucker. I want to make a statement. Bitch, don't play with me, bro. Uh, I'm saying. Saying valuable. Snatched my shit, and they was like, man, what's wrong? Nigga, I'm out. It was like, what happened? Nigga, I'm gone. They ain't even asked me no more questions. It was like 15 niggas roll with me. I felt like Suge Knight in the night. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so, so you know how like how, how, how that shit be when you bring your own crowd or whatever the case may be. Right? All right, so, so when this nigga storm out, I'm like, hey, what the fuck is this nigga on? So I told bro them I was gonna at least hang around a little bit while you know what I'm saying, show him love or whatever and shit. But I see him going out the door. So I'm okay, but I go behind him. Happened, I go behind the mechanics and them and shit, right? So then bro come to me like, hey man, bro, you ain't gonna stay. I'm like, man, I, I'm with this. <laughs> I can't, nigga. I'm with, it's my nigga. I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? True, true, true. So I don't know how I looked after that, but that shit was crazy, cause nigga, so Hey, niggas, <laughs> this nigga, it was somebody else performing, nigga. In the middle of, bro, I went on stage in the middle Mid of performance, performance nigga. So, the, ah. hey, so you up there showing the motherfucking love, like, oh, okay, let's listen to that shit. That shit. It meant so, niggas, the nigga rip his banner down. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga rip his banner down, bro, storm out, so he just left. <laughs> and I was like, and, hey, you know how, like, hey, so I don't know if this shit ever happened to you, bro. Like, I remember, like, one time I ended up beating the shit out of this motherfucking crackhead because he broke up my homie car. And I didn't even know what was going on. I just knew he broke up my homie car. So we, we just stomped this nigga fuck out. I think we stomped him out. I'm like, hey. What did he do? <laughs> he like, I nigga broke my car. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? I so, know. That's, that's actually crazy. So it was some shit like that, bro. Like, I ain't know what was going on, bro. I'm just I'm drinking good. When a nigga tow his banner down, I say, damn, I guess this is it. I guess this is it, nigga. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> And you know what? And like I said, Dirty Eagle's the coolest nigga in the world. I brought the whole radio shit together. I'm rocking a Gino Pacino shirt that night. Yeah. I don't, I don't even that's like the shirts with G's on them. That's just that my, my thing. That's the Lord. Uh, uh, my <laughs> <laughs> and I'm rocking it. It's orange and shit. It's bright as hell. I feel like a stop sign. Nigga, but it had the logo on <laughs> that. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that, that was the main he, part. He didn't even know. I was, main part. It had the logo on there. He didn't even know, right? So I, I, it was like a, a whole reveal party. Like, you know how niggas do a reveal party for their baby? I pulled this moment off. I said, look, look, look. I'm all excited. Like, Gee. We just got it. I look at it. I'm like, damn. Damn, well, I'm in the club time. It's twin and I'm, I mean, it's, it's looking like me and twins. I was like, so I put my hoodie back on at the headset. I was like, that's it, nigga. That's all you got. But that, like, point, I felt bad for her. I don't even know who was performing, but I did. I Yeah, that shit was funny. I snatched that motherfucker, and it was out the clear blue. It wasn't like it was planned. I, I was snatching so, that bitch. So, bro, me and my crew, we was at least probably about 10 deep. We just yeah. left with yeah, this right, nigga, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We left. <laughs> but we was, we was deep as in the club. I was like, that is then, crazy, the, bro. The same dude came up to me. He was like, and then afterwards, first he was trying to justify then. And I'm like, nigga, fuck you. And then I put him on blast on social media. And I deleted the post because I don't like giving people publicity off niggas. Right, right, right. So I deleted right. the post, but I want him to see it. So he was like, all right. So when he, first, when he commented, then I deleted the post. So nigga, yo, what he say? What he coming? He was like, man, I'm so sorry, dirty. It wasn't like that. It was just oh, that okay. bitch okay. suck a dick and die. And I delete the post, right? <laughs> and then, <laughs> so then the great part about it, right? He played, he did all that bogus ass shit. When I won the award for like the new hot artist of the year, he came up to me and he shit. He, he's like, man, please shake my hand. I was like, please shake my hand. He said, please, like, please shake my hand. hand. And then he, he, so I was on on the stage in the VIP. I went down 
And then he was like, man, please take my hand. Because he was like, come here, come here. I'm like, nigga, no, I'm good. He was like, please. I'm like, all right, so I'm going to do all of them. He was like, I'm really sorry about that night. It was, it was like, if there's anything I've ever done as far as putting on shows and I regret, it was that day. He was like, I regret okay. you leaving the show like that. I never. So I'm glad when you said no names because yeah, he's been yeah. a cool nigga with me. He never had no... I ain't I, know, I know, that was the first time I ever had an issue with him. <laughs> hey, you, know, you know never had an issue with Dirty hey, I feel like I know who we talking about. I mean, I can tell yeah, you all oh, air because I ain't going to tell no more names. Hey, but yeah. The, hey, the way we left that motherfucker was and so got, and funny though. he got a popping artist. He got a popping artist. Yeah, this shit Chicago. was so funny. Hold, hold on because I feel like I know who... Hold on. Because I got... No, nah, hold on, don't, 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 don't bring it back yet. All right. Pause, 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 Uh, that was his show, and yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, that 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 shit was crazy, bro. Anyway, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> Eagle is one of the coolest niggas you ever uh, Until until until, 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 until they go left. Hey, you know what's crazy? Until though? they go left. Hey, look, a lot of, right, so marketing wise, this is what's crazy. So marketing wise, uh, I, I, to bring more publicity, to them, I made a fake stunt promo. Like I really didn't like him. We never had a problem with one another, right? Okay. But I made a fake thing, and it's called Drop the Addy. So we would get on it. Uh, like, I remember one time. Oh, was, my God. We was on your page, and he was like, now nah, let's go to your page. So we went on my page, and I did this whole. So I seen that shit, but I didn't know what was going was on. Fake. I'm it's like, yeah, like what the fuck is going on? So my, I didn't tell nobody this was staged. Okay. Like, this is fake. My homies was calling him. <laughs> it was problems on both sides. Yeah, they was calling this nigga like, hey, bro, whatever going on with Dirty Eagle, nigga, you need to clear that up. I'm like, and I had to tell him, like, hey, 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 Joe, this is this is a joke, nigga. This is a joke. They didn't realize it was a joke until we did the one chip challenge. Yeah, my one homie, shout out to my homie Chuck. That nigga, when he saw that shit, yeah. he was like, yeah, bro, drop the Eddie so I can slide too. <laughs> Look, I texted him back. I was like, "Bro, we're playing, bro. It's, it's not for it's a, but, real." Deep. But that's how much I like this platform. We did a whole <laughs> little marketing thing to bring some more publicity to this shit. You feel me? But they thought it was for real. I'm like, yeah. we too grown to be dropping addies and sliding. I feel. I feel like that's something he should have kept. I feel like you should have kept. I can't. You, can, you should keep doing. Like, you should keep doing. Because like that's putting pressure, pressure, pressure on a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, bro. and they not and niggas really seeing not what side that. they on and shit. That's, they they put a lot of pressure on them. No, but look, but you put him in the hot seat. How so? With uh, drop that name or whoever you was talking about. You said. Oh, say right, who right, right, about. right, 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 right. So right. now uh, let's. This Gino interview. Let's put Gino in the house. Let's interview. go. Let's, let's, go. let's get it. Let's get it. Two now. questions. <laughs> Two questions. Okay. What's a Chicago artist? Rather, it's, it could be mainstream. It could be local. It could be people that you fuck with. It could be a nigga right next to you. I don't know. It could be anybody. Okay. That you should just say, like, you know what? You should just stop rapping, G. Oh shit, damn. Nah, you better say it now, too. Say it now. Hey, look. <clears throat> <laughs> damn, bro. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I don't want to disrespect no more. No, no disrespect. So, uh, no, no, it's, hey, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not disrespectful. It's the fact. No, no, if you say it, respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, you don't need to rap no so mm. a nigga that I don't want to hear rap no more. I ain't bro. never seen Gino Pacino post his wedding. I yeah, that, that's that's how you I see the be. smoke coming from the channel. Nah, because it's a few niggas I'm thinking of, but I don't want to say their name. Name them niggas, and it might be just a random shot. Here we you know go. Hold on, let me set this shit yeah, again. Bro. So I hope they listen. Right. <laughs> right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me set this shit again. So I hope they listen. Alright, bro. So. And it's all due respect to bro, man. But all due respect. I got a nigga, uh, one of my West Side niggas, my nigga Love Deshaun. This nigga was on the Maury show or some shit. That nigga was putting out music. <laughs> oh, oh, Motherfucker told me he, he he did a feature with fucking AK from Do a Die. I was like, damn, they, they put some shit out. Uh, with you? <laughs> nah, that's not, what you not, to not, say. not with me. You know, know what I'm saying? saying? That's what but, you wanted to uh, say. But he a cool nigga. I fuck with bro. You know what I'm saying? But that's the, that shit kind of threw me off. Uh, Man, you say bro should start. <laughs> Man, I ain't trying to disrespect, bro. Nah, that's, that's, that's like, respectfully. It's hey, respectfully, bro. Respectfully. Right, so outside of that, bro, outside of that, bro, just niggas that's just like... No, I'm not niggas. No, nah, what niggas? What niggas? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, what Man, niggas? Hell no, nah, I ain't gonna go there. No, no, nah, you, you gave us one. <laughs> Don't go there on nobody else, bro. Cause there's a lot of niggas, man, I can think of, man, who kind of garbage, bro. And I just, and I, and I hope to never be in that position, bro. You know what I'm saying? But like, like I told you early on, you know what I'm saying? Not just him today, um, even in the industry, bro. Like, nigga, I just spit in front of Kanye before, and he was like, nigga, you cold, mm. nigga. Mm. So I haven't really been encountered with a lot of niggas who. You know what I'm saying? It was like a lot of pushback. You know what I'm saying? But uh, in terms of niggas saying I, I wasn't cold or whatever, but bro, nigga, it's a lot of motherfucking Chicago rappers, man. Yeah, that I be like, damn, bro. Just, on yeah, just give it one just, name. Man. Just one name. I already gave one. I, one more. I, 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 I hate that I did that. I probably get drinking nah, too much. Let's get one more. Get that, man. And I better see you marketing this name, too. Hell no. Hell no! Nah. This promo, I ain't gonna never smash you no know, motherfucker another man, G. Nah, yeah. nah, I'm good, bro. You know what I'm nah, No answer, bro. I, I'll take a shot to that. Oh, nah. it, t- take a shot, fuck it. Yeah, this ain't drink champs, but you tell me take a shot. I'll take a shot with you, fuck it. I'll take a shot to that, bro. I ain't thought I said this shit. I said. <laughs> hey, so, 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 Big Bro Joe, we was talking about your list that you um, did. Yeah. He he came up with a, a, a fucking amazing question. What's that? What was the question? And I had a response to it. And I wanted to wait till we was here. Let's he go. was like, you ain't got three stacks on that list? Ooh. So it's funny you mentioned that shit. Cause what was that podcast we had did uh at uh at that big studio, uh for Knox. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking, um, yeah. so they was telling me, like, man, they'll love to hit me with three stacks. Like, you know oh, what I'm saying? Wait, like, hold on. Is, is Joe, hey, Joe, you, you here? Is he here? Um, Joe Jeezy. Come, come here. He, he so, he get a response. He get your answer. I never, um, I never would underestimate three stacks, like, nothing like that, bro. But the love below would probably be like the only solo project he ever put out. You know what I'm saying? So I feel Ooh. like, I feel like, bro, he ain't done enough by himself, by himself. Ooh. He didn't put him in a, in a higher tier. But the nigga is, is an astronaut if you talk him on, on the bar level. Now, look. On now, look. Level, now, that's he, what I wanted to say, thing, bro. When you brought it up, when you said it, when you said it, right, I give it. I give him his just do. I feel like he can no. do it. I feel like he can come out with Everybody got three stacks up there. Everybody got With no stacks. problem. It's the, fact, it's the fact that he ain't do it, bro. So we you can't you can't put you can't say you can't say three yeah, stacks versus nah. Yeah, yeah. You can't say three stacks. I feel like I feel like Andre would kill Jay Z bar for bar. Bar for bar? But he ain't fucking with Jay Z. Hey, can 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 I can I just kinda of be honest with y'all? I'm, I'm Google. That's his five percent. I'm Googling three stacks right now. I don't even know who he is. Andre 
Oh, you talking Andre 3000? Yeah, mm-hmm. nigga okay. 3 Stacks. I don't know. Nigga, say Andre 3000. No, nigga 3 Stacks. <laughs> nigga, niggas call them 3 Stacks. Yeah, that's why I just heard. Nigga, that's 3 Stacks. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. 3 Stacks. I'm like, who's 3 Stacks? Damn, Andre 3000 is my Oh, goddamn, 3 Stacks. I get it. Nigga, I'll tell you some, some funny things. This is exclusive for the show, bro. So... I got another homie named Gino, my real name Gino and shit, G-E-N-O. So I used to work at this motherfucker Walgreens on um, North Avenue in Wales, bro. And it used to be a restaurant that was across the street. So me and my nigga Gino going there, guess who we see? This is a total side by story, but this shit happened in real life, nigga. Outcast, Andre and Big Boy, nigga, they was in the restaurant. And Big Yip. So at this time... It used to be this shit called the Duel of the Iron Mics at the uh, the Cotton Club. You know what I'm saying? I was in that shit. I was like a teenager, nigga. Battling niggas. Ah, grown niggas. in the club. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, I fucking, me and my boy G don't rap for them niggas. You know what I'm saying? They showed us love. So, the nigga Big Boy was like, that nigga sound like Nori. Talking about me. Saying I sound like Noriega. I don't think I sound shit like Noriega. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, at the time he did say that shit though. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, nah, hell no, nah, they might have, you know what I'm saying? Like what they was going back and forth and shit or whatever. So these niggas back to the three stack shit, that's why I brought this shit up, because he a real nigga though, bro. Now keep in mind, I I meet the nigga on North Avenue in Wales. It's should probably about three o'clock in the afternoon. So the battle I did that night was at like maybe like eight. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas came. Damn. Gip came. You know what I'm saying? They had some security shit with them or whatever. But Gip came. You know what I'm saying? Big Boy came. Stacks came and shit. And they watched the they watched the battle when the niggas showed me love. That shit was so cool, bro. Oh, damn. And nigga, I wish hey, he bro. Shout out to bro. <laughs> hey, bring up the hidden gem. One of the things that I that I hate in terms of life experience. About like now versus the this Instagram era, I wish this happened then, cause yeah. I would have put that shit oh, on the gram, nigga, uh, yeah. and I would have went the way crazy. You are, the way you are, hell yeah, nigga, I'd have went crazy, bro. That shit would have made you right yeah. there, the nigga. That, that situation, that nigga. validation right there yeah. would have made it. Yo, cause you know so what's crazy about this, this gram shit is like pretty much, cause I'd have met a lot, a lot of celebrities, bro, but it'd be like. If a nigga don't see it on the gram, it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? I was fucked up about that. I'm so I'll give you a good example. So this nigga behind you, I was trying to get this nigga to chime in my nigga E. So Law City, you know what I'm saying? How I brought this shit back to the song with me and Dirty Eagle did this shit. That was our crew back in the day, me and him. It was Law City. Law City. That, was, that, that was me and him. I'm you know what I'm saying? So this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's dude name who fuck with uh Gucci man? Uh Zaytoven. So Zaytoven gave this nigga a beat. He gave this nigga a beat. He gave him a beat. He gave him a beat. So but we was gonna do the song together. So we go to the motherfucking studio. This when I tell you he quiet, but he a real street nigga. Like this nigga is hey. I'm supposed to take trips with this nigga. This nigga like, I'm, I'm locked up. G, I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how street this oh, nigga shit. is. Oh, shit. That's how street this nigga is, bro. Hey, bro, so, I need the deposit. Uh, hey, I didn't uh, find out to I'm recently. I'm already on vacation. I didn't this find out to. Bro. Listen, so <laughs> I didn't find out to recently. He was a little bit mad at me, and I apologize to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we was going to do the song together, bro. The nigga didn't make it to the session, bro. So I recorded the shit. Uh, put the shit out. You know what I'm oh, saying? Somebody else beat? Oh, but Zay beat. Wow, well, beat your ass. So this nigga <laughs> said. <laughs> He's with shoot you. So this nigga <laughs> said. Oh, yeah. Real cool nigga. This nigga said Zay was mad at me. And I'm like, I never. <laughs> hey, yo, oh. I never knew, bro. I never knew, bro. I never Whoa, knew, him. bro. Damn, dude. But that's, that's, that's still Bad my nigga for life, though. Up, up. It's still my nigga for life. I love G. That's a six That's still my nigga for life, though, man. Hey, but oh, that. Shit. Hey. Hey, not, not just that's why my apology, nigga. That's my apology on edge, cause I, I apologize for that shit. That's my bad, bro. Yeah, I ain't even take it like that. 
Hey, come on over here, nigga. Come in this mic. Come in the mic, bro. Come on, come on. Tell this thing. We gotta get all this. My nigga Tizzle. We gotta get all this. My nigga Tizzle. That them camera, I camera these. That's real shit though. That's real <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey look, hey look, bro. I talk shit a lot. You don't know that. You just met me, bro. I swear I thought you was Omar Epps when you came in this bitch, bro. How? <laughs> the old one, the fat Omar Epps. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, you heard it before. Yeah. So you heard it before. Oh my, that's what the bitches hey. call me at the merch. Oh my, damn. Oh, oh. Hey, tell the bitches all dark skin niggas do not look the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, don't don't shoot me, bro. Nah, nah he, 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 he ain't gonna shoot you, bro. He ain't gonna shoot you. I'm just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a podcast nigga. Hey, but, 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 I, <laughs> but, but I tell you, he's shoot or capable, though. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not even going to say that. That nigga don't shoot nobody. He's a, he's an honest, hardworking black man. man. Yeah, he, yeah. he just wants to see everybody be successful. That's it. That's who it. When I see him, I see a successful black I man. I see a successful that black man. I want to see other people successful. I don't see a shooter or none of that shit. I see... A, 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 an intelligent, incredible black man that want to see other black men. Nah, this this one of my best fans. friends. But one of the first times we kicked it, bro. That's what I see. So that so that new video, Lost City Returns. That's me and him. You know, what I'm saying that shit. So the locations of how we did it. The, one of the first times me and him. Kicked that was it. at the park on Jeffrey. Nah, we was on Mizo. Mizo. Seven, seven, right seven the corner, uh, But nigga. So me, him, and his cousin Mick. First time I kicked it with this nigga. We was just hanging out. So yeah, I, I did want to ask you, what was the meaning behind? We, we was just park? drinking, drinking, shooting brews, kicking it or whatever and shit. So we 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 over and we chilling and I'm like, damn, bro, it's a lot of traffic. I see like shit just keep going back and forth. I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on, bro? So I put two and two together, bro. It was the dope spot, G? Uh, so uh, so uh, so. Uh, <laughs> So, <laughs> yo, his man, uh, they they had a van parked a little further down. Where yeah, the work was at. Right now, nigga. It's old though. Oh, <laughs> it's old. So we might want to do it again. So they, had van, up the spot. they had a van. They had a van. Hey, bro, I got a pull on the spot. Yo, I gotta, I gotta hey, tell you about that. So, it's so, a whole lot of indictments you talking yeah. about. These niggas had a van parked the spot, further dude. down where the, where the shit was at or whatever and shit, right? And. A nigga, you know, do that, that, and then they go down there. You know what I'm saying? Swap it out. Oh, that means shit. So, right I'm like, damn, bro. Takashi. It took me a minute. <laughs> so, and it's one of our first times hanging out. God damn. But we, but we had a good time, though, bro. I guess. But <laughs> I said, bro. I said, bro. The whole time we kicking it, nigga. Why you ain't tell me this was the dope spot? He ain't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> We going to the dope spot to kick it. Y'all we kicking it, nigga. Y'all both fucked up. Y'all both fucked up. We kicking it. I ain't supposed to tell you, nigga. I didn't know. I thought you knew. That's basically what he told me. Like, nigga, I figured you knew. He like this. Oh, you, you, you didn't. No, nah, you didn't smell it. I figured it out quick, bro. I figured it out quick, bro. That but, so but that's crazy as fuck that we were just hanging out. Nigga, we had a ball, nigga. We smoked all type of weed. Yeah. We just kicking it. That was a good. Story. Straight yeah, dope spot. Like my first time going out west with Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> fucking life, bro. Yeah. You from the south side? Nah, east side. East side. Hey, look. You from out west? South side. I'm from out west. Hey, look. I'm going to tell you right now. Nigga, say thug There's three. There's, 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 there's five parts of the city. A lot of people don't know. You got what's the five parts? We are, we exactly. one right you. now. I'm, I'm gonna teach you. No, this is a suburb, my nigga. Uh, uh, low key. Mm -mm. All right, so you got the east side. That's a legit part of Chicago. Fresh. You got the south side. That's a legit part of Chicago. Okay, long long as you wrap it. Long as you wrap it. You got the west side, legit part of Chicago. You got the north side, legit part of Chicago. A lot of motherfuckers don't know that there's an extended fifth side of Chicago. And I had to no no not the Harvey. <laughs> Not Harvey, but I had to learn this traveling and doing my shit, right? <laughs> so, like, fucking a lot of niggas, I found that there's, a, there's an extendo clip of Chicago. It's a fifth part. 
and it's the hundreds. The hundreds is not even the south side. We That's, don't count that shit. I know, I know, I count that <laughs> because I've been in the hundreds and them niggas get crazy. Like, it, yeah, nigga, that's a whole nother level of, of south, like, that's another part of, they don't even fuck with the south side of Chicago. These but, niggas, these niggas about different type of action. But this is what I'm saying. Fire, when we say hundreds, we ain't But that's part of the south side though to me. No, 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 so look, no my so nigga, I, I fuck with, I fuck. Yeah, from that night, so look, that's a whole nother That's a whole nother world. That's a whole nother world. So when you go 130th, bro, it's a whole nother thing. I'm gonna tell you how crazy it is. I'm gonna tell you how crazy it is. It the hunt is so crazy that part of the hunt is in Chicago ain't even got a Chicago zip code. Nigga, Riverdale, Cal Park. Calumet Park and motherfucking Adel Gardens are 60827. They don't even want them included in Chicago. <laughs> hey, that is serious, my nigga. But look, On my soul, nigga. They, they, they was like, them niggas too wild. We're going to put them in the birds. Yeah. But look, that's why. That's fast. Right. It's five sections of Chicago. So, because my pop stay in Riverdale. Like his crib, he got a crib, yeah, 146. Well, he don't stay there no more. 146 on yeah, don't get your, don't, don't get your people. He don't live there no more. It's gone. Riverdale. <laughs> It's, it's real, but I'm saying every time I went out there, it was always some crazy shit going on. Oh, I said, "What up?" I know what yeah. It was just weird. So I was just saying, like, arguably, you could say the South Side end on 95th. It really do truly, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, no, like the Hunters is part of the South Side. No, no it's they, not. The Hunters is they own. They, entity. It's their own. Entity. It's five parts. It's the Hunters. And like you got the North Side, Harvey. East, West, South. And then you got the hundreds, like that's a whole other entity in and Chicago. You go, and it, you got the because hun- Chicago operates underneath the fan, bro. It's it's like this. <laughs> Chicago it's like operate, this. operate underneath the fan, so we gotta have five parts of Chicago. It's like this, thirty fifth to ninety fifth. That's really legit Southside. And then after ninety fifth, it's a big gap. Yes. It's called the black hole. The black like, hole. <laughs> And then you go to Harvey. And, and then it's a whole nother like black hole. Harvey's, uh, yeah, black South hole. Holland, and Dalton, and all that shit. Damn. Motherfuckers don't know it's a Riverdale out there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Niggas, niggas, niggas know where Riverdale at. But that's you know what, what I'm saying? saying. It's like, it's like, uh. Um, now, it's, 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 a, it's a fifth part of Chicago. They always want to talk about four parts. But, like, Lily, when you pass 95th going south, it's a whole nother world. I ain't ever thinking about that shit. Like, it's a whole nother world. It's five parts of Chicago. It's 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 the north side, east side, west side, south side, and then it's it's the it's this the I don't know the black hole. We call it the black hole. Man, look, we had a late start. Yeah. So that means we got to do this shit again. Again. Uh, we out of this bitch. Damn, we, talk, we just I'm good. It. I'm just getting I ready. God damn. Getting nice and saucy too. Shut yeah. us down, my boy. Damn, we I'm gonna need a lot. Yeah, I you know what, but that that goes to a testament of how dope of a fucking show this is. That you just don't want to let it go, man. Hey, hey, salute to but fucking Go T Bibs. Appreciate y'all. The real fucking go to Chicago. Cubs hey, salute, out, like, like I don't want it to end, man. I'm like, damn, we just kind of <laughs> getting into the nitty gritty. Yeah, man. You feel me? Because, hey, nigga, it's hella history at this motherfucking table, though. Yeah. The whole time, bro. All right, let me ask you. All right, you know what? Can I, can I ask one more question before we close out? All right, go so ahead, go ahead. what makes you continue to want to go as hard as you do? You know, as an artist myself, it gets exhausting. You know, you, you feel like you might some posts Jeez. might get 10 likes. Some posts might get 100. Some might get 1,000. Well, no, with 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 just the, how algorithms work and all that shit. Beside all that, shit, I want to answer this, my damn. Yeah, uh, well, you answer it. This is very important for you to answer as well. But, but it's about him. But you know, what makes you want to keep going? Like sometimes, bro, like you want to just throw your hands up in the air and say, you know what, fuck you, fuck you, you cool, and then throw a potato at a nigga. <laughs> so <laughs> fuck you. So like, yeah, what is it, bro? So I feel like. <sighs> Yo, tomorrow can always be better than your t- today. Mm-hmm. Like always, okay, you know what I'm already. So, with that being said, bro, it's just like I'm just one ear away, or you know, some whatever the case may be, bro. So when I when I wake up tomorrow, I say, man, when I when I post this shit, it's gonna hit everybody. Like niggas gonna actually hit this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of people now, like they. uh they they attach their self worth to what's going on like on the internet, you know what I'm saying? But I've been out here for real, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's like, and, and, that, and I think that's one of the few things that, that's going to separate me moving forward from a lot of artists and shit or whatever. Like, I ain't trying to be on super gangster shit like I'm the most hoodest nigga or whatever the case may be because I'm not. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, if you go in the real hoods, nigga, <laughs> like, like some of the shit where you like, nigga, I don't even want to show up over there, nigga. When I come out, they be like, oh, Gino, nigga, what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, nigga, I've been a real hood ass nigga. So I ain't got to prove that aspect. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then even amongst the boss spitters and shit, right? I done been around Lupe, Kanye, everybody, G. And niggas been like, nigga, you solid, nigga, you cold. So I feel like with that being said, bro, I just got to, if it's just one time, bro, just put it at a place where the whole world could hear, bro. I already been validated, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know how niggas gonna be on the 15 minute of the fame shit or whatever the case may be, bro. My journey not complete to I have my time, bro. Cause I'm here for a reason, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and nigga, not one word, every word I had to say was relevant, bro. Like, nigga, my struggle I've been through, and I've been through a hell of a struggle, G. I've been in situations like a nigga's a cry if they've been in them situations, and nigga, and I still be smiling through that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? My testimony niggas can eat from, nigga. Like, I ain't wrote an actual book, but if the book come, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas could read that book and learn from my lessons, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and that's why I'm going to continue to keep doing my shit, bro, until I feed who I need to feed, bro. I ain't done until I feed him. You know what I'm saying? That, that's heavyweight right there. That's that's like serious heavyweight. So, so can I can I add on to that so we can get the fuck up out of here? Salute to all y'all. My, my cup bigger than yours. You got you got to pull off some more. Yeah. But this straight, this straight. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yours is straight. Don't chase it. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. But I I can agree to that, and I say I do this shit because I could be in rooms with. Niggas that been through shit through the trenches. That's why I call y'all niggas my big bros. Shout out to y'all too, Joe Jeezy and Dirty Eagle. Now y'all yeah. two niggas. Joe you know Jeezy, we gotta change that phone before yeah. I leave, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got hey, a question for I you. I talked to this nigga for a solid hour before we started. That's a cool ass I got, nigga. I got a question for you. What? You know, in, in the, damn, I done spilled a whole bunch of shit over here. But in in the days of when you want to stick to your gun. Right. Uh -huh. When you want to just be who you, you created your moniker, you created who you are. What makes you continue to evaluate yourself and change traje tra trajectories? So I've known you from black tea bibs. I've known you from bottle service. I've known you in every step of your journey since I first met you. Uh -huh. and, and you have this uncanny ability to continue to just change. And you adopt to situations. You don't let nothing hold you. I, we've seen, I've seen some crazy shit, right? Remember when the little joint at the hours at the, that shit? In yeah. front of 79? Yeah, no, not, on, not even on, in front of 79. When we was at the crib. Yo, oh, that shit. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that, yeah. So like you, you have this ability to continue to push forward and change shit. Like you will retire something that's huge mm -hmm. in this building. Why? And what gives you the testimony fortitude to continue to doing so? So look, now it's gonna sound like I'm dig riding because I said it, it's like my third time saying it. So this is why I big up y'all two again. Cause see this what what I tell you, the, the headphones come off at a certain time. Yeah. When you talking that real yeah, shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that stick talk. I gotta I gotta <laughs> big up. It, it's it's real when you, you surround yourself with certain individuals. And that's when the, the individuals, like, I ain't even got to hit you up and let you know, like, man, you the reason why I'm still doing it. You the reason why, I, you the reason, you the reason. I ain't even got to tell you, bro. Mm. But at the end of the day, I'm going to let you know somehow, some way, nigga, the formula came because of you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the way that the shots that I took at all the motherfuckers that do media, mm. I took heavy shots. I and I got blacklisted for it. And Fox called that shit out. Shout out to Fox. He called it out. He was like, "Hey, bro, I see you been blacklisted, bro, but I still fucks with you." And I and I have, bro. I don't get hit up no more to be like, "Hey, yo, come host this or come do this." Don't nobody do that no more. 
they don't look for me no more. Cause I, I don't put motherfuckers out like, yo, you an artist. You know how it is when motherfuckers, you sit down with people like me. They don't even know you from a can of paint. They don't know shit about you. They take your money yeah. and be like, all right, yeah, we got another interview. All right. Hey, so how you get your name? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. And, then, and, then, right. and then after that, right. and then after that, oh. it's over, bro. You don't hear from their ass again until you pay them again. But I, I just told you, all right, well, we got the business out the way. Now we family. So now you're going to be just like this nigga. Hey, you want to co-host with me, bro? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be like that. And it's just like this nigga right here, Joe. This this my fucking brother, bro. Literally, he'll tell me some shit, and I'll be on Google the next day like, how can you make a $1,000 <laughs> in two minutes? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's because of those type of people, the Dirty Eagles, and the Joes is, is because of them motherfuckers is the reason why I like, man, I can't stop, G, because I got them niggas, they making moves, they making ways for me to keep going and be like, man, yeah. fuck, I'm going to give up for them. Them niggas ain't giving up. That's right. So when I see y'all niggas give up, yeah. it's straight <laughs> up. So look, when I see you two motherfuckers give up, and that's why it's a perfect time, bro. It's a first, this the first, it's a lot of firsts right now. Right. We're live for the first time. I never went live. That's We're live for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Like people can tune, people can tune in right now. Yeah. And, and people probably tune in, and if they not, I don't give no fuck. It's the fact that it's the first time, and I can do it with the motherfuckers I look up to the most. You know what I'm saying? And I got a new family member. New bodyguard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, this, 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 this nigga, get out for real. Hey, 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 on some real shit, bro. I, I, I look, on some real shit. The world needs a black T Bibbs. Uh, the world needs an unfiltered voice that doesn't give a fuck. Oh, he definitely, uh, he definitely pushing you to the max. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they, they, nigga, they, so, they, so, they, so, bro. They, so, m- before you met me, bro. I've been on Power 92. I've been on like every, all these See, stations. Like, so these niggas fuck with all my shit, bro. <laughs> so, when I start fucking with Dirty, this nigga say, gee, you gotta do some shit with Black T Bibs. I was like, damn, bro. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, immediately. Uh-huh. He, been, he been plugging you out the gate, bro. Out the gate, nigga. Out the gate, bro. I ain't say that about name, motherfucker, nobody. Yeah, yeah. Podcast or radio show. That's why I'd be damned if I, you know what? I got a story to tell, but I want to get y'all social medias out first. So, on Instagram, you can pull me up at Payne707, P-A-I-N-707. Everywhere else, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where the camera at, but you see the logo, Gino Pacino. You know what I'm saying? I got hella merch. I got hella music out here. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know what I'm saying? Lost City with my nigga Dirty Eagle. I got Lost City Returns with my nigga Tizzle Man. Man, that's you know crazy. That? You the return? And, uh, I'm the birth. Man, bro. I got like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even say like, I ain't gonna even say good music. I got, I got good medicine out here. Like, like he mentioned Tears of Joy. So Tears of Joy is a song I dedicated to mental health. You know what I'm saying? I got the Moment of Praise, which is a gospel song. I got multiple gospel songs, bro. Like, bro, I'm putting my pain out here for the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? And my joy, too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you rock with me on the music side, bro, I, I guarantee you, I'm going to take you to a different level, bro. You know what I'm saying? Real oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, 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 real quick. One thing about you, bro, you're not a one trick pony, bro. You really can deliver on any kind of content. And a lot of times, a lot of artists can't do that. So shout out to Gino Pacino, man. I really, I, hey, this nigga, I really love what he do, man. I don't know if I can express that enough. And I don't, I don't exaggerate shit. Like I really love what you do. That's All right, awesome. so you know who I am, man. I'm Dirty Eagle. Mate, shit, if he don't put two T's in that dirty, two T's. Smack, bro. <laughs> Fuck that I hate when I be on. I just did an interview recently. It was Smack the one T, it. nigga. It's dirty, goddamn it, Eagle. Yeah, so, not all, dirty, all, all, not Eagle. dirty. Like, nah, give me some extra tea time. Yeah, I'm about this. Go. <laughs> give me some extra. That, I'm a, that's my new Monica. Give me some extra tea time. <laughs> oh, extra tea hey, time. Look. We coming out with shit on the on, on the spot. It's nigga. dirty with two. Give me some extra tea time. <laughs> 
That shit sound real. Uh, look how the marketing works. I'm phenomenal. Anyway, man, look, I'm on all platforms. You know what it is, but my real fans I always go to the website because I always get some exclusive. So don't fan. forget he a big lord because he can big tell vice lord. But that's beside the point. <laughs> he I gonna convert t- niggas. He gonna right? tell you, hey, hey, Gino, hey, Gino Pacino. No, you ain't convert me, <laughs> nigga. I got video you convert footage, me. nigga. You threw a vice lord, nigga. Well, Don't put me it, on blast, nigga. <laughs> I'll put you on blast, nigga. You big vice lord now. He was I'm like 10 And I'm your chief, chief bro, nigga. When nigga asked me to hey, up lord. Nigga, don't let me check up with you right now. <laughs> you vice lord, nigga. He was like 10 drinks in. Hey. Bro. Hey, right. you vice lord, nigga. Anyway, right, anyway, so with my with, with, with our special guest, vice lord Gino Pacino, <laughs> with the big G on the shit. <laughs> with the big G, we're gonna put a VL on shit. No, nigga, I'm gonna G. stop all your shit. Every time I see, I'm gonna get a marker, a red marker. Green screen. Nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna edit the G. Yeah, I'm editing. Vice lord Gino Pacino, vice lord Pacino. Okay, okay lord okay. Pacino, lord Pacino. Oh, they got a monica, so they got a real to it, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Lord Pacino, hey, look, man. Hey, look, man, but all my real fans always go to the website, dirtyeagle.com. Make sure you put the T, the extra T in there. But anyways, man, man, it's been a pleasure. And it's time I was It was dope. This shit was fun. It's been dope. It's On the game. With Lord more. Pacino. <laughs> Says we got man. more. Chime in. Say something, Dan. Throw your socials out there. One more, th- one more time. T-I-Z-Z-L-E-M-A-N-I-A. Y'all know what it is. The Black Tea Podcast. Follow it everywhere. Yeah. The Black Tea yeah. Podcast. Yeah. And tune in. Coming soon to a, a, a place near you, wherever the fuck you at. Whatever you got going on. I don't give a fuck if you sell lip gloss, goddammit. Nail polish. I don't give a fuck what you selling. <laughs> if it's a hidden gem... <laughs> We coming oh, at you. Oh, nigga, we there. We there. We on hitting gems. Joe Jeezy, we coming at you. Yo, Joe, you, you know I talked to you about this shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Real hitting gems. Yeah. With a Z, no S. This is Z, because we still ghetto in some ways. Yeah, yeah. But we yeah, professional yeah. in a sense. Yeah. And that's it, man. We finna get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. Sir. Ain't no telling where we gonna end up. I, 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 I'm about to end up home. I'm gonna end up drunk. I gotta go work in the morning. I'm definitely buzzing, but this was a good night, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, it's time to slide, then. <laughs> it's time to slide, man. Ain't even that late, though. You want hey, bro. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, ah, 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 hey, we are. Damn, we are. Good shit. Damn, man. Nah, I'm couching, bro. Hey, man, when you want a bad guy, I need a video. Huh? When you want a bad guy, I need a video.